Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Duct Tape Plays. I'm finally back from being really, really sick. <clears throat> and my voice is mostly back. So tonight we're going to be playing the Splatoon 3 DLC that I promised you weeks ago. Hey, Frank, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. Oh, yeah, we probably have uh, Splatfest stuff. You say my voice sounds great. <laughs> Hi. I just can't do high notes anymore. They're gone. What'd you say? Yeah, high notes are just gone. It's, they're dead. Oh yeah, big run. Yeah, so we're gonna have a lot of news here. Oh shit, the big runs this weekend? Damn it. Eel tail, maybe they'll finally make that a good map. But I'm glad my voice is still pleasing to you. Anyway, I hope you're doing really well. New season, I didn't play any last season. Let's see if I get demoted. Yeah, I know new weapons. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Doing great, getting ready for that interview. With your... Oh, nice! New stage is dropped. New job site, a Bone Rattle Arena, huh? The rumor full. A space out looking wretches packing a cockapolis. Okay. Yeah, we need to get to that cockapolis and do the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, guys. I know. I know. I'm not, not playing multiplayer right now. We're single player in, baby. Look at that sick jacket, though. I might need to do some salmon run later. No, I'm still S rank. <laughs> I'm not allowed to drop below that, apparently. <laughs> and we're gonna have to see the news again because we just went over the freaking time. Actually, we probably just have to see the uh, stages. Ugh. Come on, game. There we go. I can't not wear my good clothes, even though they're not helpful in any way, shape, or form. I gotta be styling. Twinkopolis. Is that where we are? No. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyway, today we're playing the uh, Side Order DLC, which is a roguelike. Ooh and ah, right? And you guys know how I feel about roguelikes sometimes. <laughs> I can get really on board occasionally. <laughs> Hopefully I won't need to move my camera. I'm afraid that I might, but we'll find out later. Hey! Sick. The banana eight. Oh yeah, that's right. We're Agent Eight in this instead of our normal me. You awake or what? Um, this hair's better. Oh, I get better hair? Wait, was that the male or female choice? Hold on. Oh, yes, it was. But the eye pointies were hidden under it. Were male. Uh, do they have my normal hairstyle? They do. So 
So as far as I can tell, the only way to tell the difference between gender and octolings is the pointiness of their eye circles. If you can come around, I didn't have a plan B. What's up? I got something on my face. Oh right, you wouldn't recognize me like this. It's Pearl. <laughs> Your bestie. For serious, I'm legit Pearl. I'm not sure how I got this way, but here I am. I'm not sure where Marina went either, she's supposed to be with me. Don't tell me you don't remember Marina either. It's cool, you just woke up. Might take some time to get your head clear. Regular me on the left, and the one on the right is Marina. Any idea where we should go from here? Marina's usually around to help me with that. Yep, we should find Marina. We DLC in. Help me. Hang on. Let's go in the tower. What the hell is this? Okay. I'm getting those heebie jeebies. Okay. We got spawns like salmon run. Ooh. Weird little guys. What kind of weapon do I get? Dualies, huh? Okay, that's fine. I can jive with dualies. I have curling bombs. Alright. Well, like something I had in me, you know? Alright, well, let's get up there. Wonder how far I can go on the first run. I like her sparkly pink ink. That's really nice. Or is it like pearl colored because she's pearl? That would make sense. Stylish, though, man. I like this pearl bot. I'm not your enemy. Just another bystander who got sucked in. Take you to follow Marina's voice here. Oct. Okay. Mr. Marina, I mean, we go way back. We'll do that next time. I'm Pearl, and this is eight. Cool meeting you, Oct. I've been in the area since I came to. I heard Marina's voice from the spire, so I came to find her. Those bony fish found me first. I call them gelatin. Gelatins. Ha! <coughs> That's cute. That's why I'm trapped here in this elevator. The spire crammed with gelatins. The, uh, this wound they gave me hasn't healed, so I'm stuck. Don't count us out yet. I'm waiting for the octoling with a drone. Said your name was 8. You're the one I needed to see. Okay, Pearl, now check out what happens when you set a color chip in the palette. Palette? Are you talking about this thing? Oh, look, it's a uh, sampler. That's cute. <coughs> this is music based. You got it. Set a color chip. What happens on you? There's nothing. Slap that chip in there. And your weapon gets stronger. So a whole bunch of color chips in there. We'll walk all over these fishy freaks. Play your chips right and you can make it all the way to the top. Okay, so our chips are our modifications for the runs. Alright. Whatever's going on in the city, Marina's in the thick of it. Hmm? Not like that. <laughs> or so I'm assuming. Crafty cat making diarrhea jokes. Off camera. Very quietly. Uh, if only you were slightly louder. The Cinderia on my left has left me sidelined. Our strike team has been immediately limited to you two. <laughs> we're on it. 
Yeah, she is being nasty. <laughs> Elevator only goes up one floor at a time. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm ready. Gimme. Do I get to keep the same weapon the whole time, or is it different every floor, I wonder? Okay, I got my dualies. I can live with dualies. You're so white. Yeah, we are very white. Uh, we're up to floor one. What about the foyer? Each floor is an objective you need to clear. Take care of it to get to the next floor. Alright. Destroy that portal. Alright. The main damage, distant color chip. Okay, let's see. Okay, 27 up close. Okay, I see. I get it. Yeah, we're in jail. And I've got curling bombs. No. Alright. Easy. I can do this. <laughs> do we get a chip every floor? We... Do we? No, we get one every time you add to a new floor. Here, I'll show you. Okay. We get poison ink. Increases the damage enemies take when they're on your ink. Okay. Ooh. Alright. And we get our upgrade before we do the floor. Alright. Inverse Hades. <laughs> so in theory, if I paint the ground, the enemy should just take damage. Oh, that does heavy damage. Okay. Wow. Let's just do one of these. That works. I'm glad they gave me a curling bomb. It's one of my favorites. It might not be the best thing in the world, but it's reliable. Okay, this is feeling alright so far. Obviously, these are the easy floors, but, you know. <clears throat> Marina's a turbo nerd when it comes to machines. She went to the same school, I'm not surprised you can do the same stuff. Well, she was a few ranks above me, I wouldn't put myself quite in her league. By the way, here's your next color chip. Lucky bomb drop. Increases the enemy chance of enemies dropping lucky bombs. Lucky bombs explode from the closest enemy to the farthest. Alright. <clears throat> I'll take it. I don't know how I feel about your onesie. It's a roguelike onesie. I don't know. I feel like it's like you're looking for the It could be. I mean, who knows what Agent Eight's into? This isn't my character. This is just Agent Eight. I know. I'm just saying. I don't know how I feel about the little onesie. <laughs> it's 
What's that thing? It's a can special. Grabbing one will fill half your special gauge. It looks like a can. Oh, in the back? Yeah, that is a tricycle. Crafty Cat is helping. <laughs> Pearl. And I think it shoots stuff occasionally. She's a, she's our little sidekick. I just want to shoot things, man. I ran into that like an idiot. It appears that she does do some amount of damage. Of course I did. These floors do be so easy. Thirty. I assume they're gonna get much harder. That was supposed to be a hard floor. Okay. Ink saver. Oh, I used 50% ink for my weapon. Ooh. We get mem bucks? <laughs> I wonder what those are for. This is a really chill, uh, roguelike. Gliding? There's flying enemies? Oh, there's pancakes. I see any portals? Okay, so it's just a. I do like I do like pancakes. We need to do an ink zone. Okay. Oh, this is it's just teaching me baby time things. Yeah, I like French toast. Makes sense. Just doing zones. Look at that tuna. Hey, none of that. Rude. I almost fell off. That would have been really bad. We did it. I was hoping these would be a little more frantic, but, you know, whatever. I'll take it. You gotta get all those men bucks. But this does seem to be the tutorial climb. Drone killer whale allows pearl drone to use killer whale. Okay. <clears throat> I like killer whale. It's not a great special, but I think it's fun. Oh, our hair's changing color. We're becoming less white. See? I just saw the old killer whale. The drone gauge fills up on its own. Okay. And there's batteries. Okay. Turbine tower. So I assume I just have to shoot it. Look at those jellyfish. Oh, we're doing a weird version of tower control. Actually, I kind of like this. This would be a fun multiplayer, like, mode. Instead of having to stand on it, having to DPS it, that's actually kind of neat. Uh, 
Can I paint the wall here? No. How do I get up? It is a spring. Ah! I see. Enemies can leave behind stuff. Over there. Get in there. I noticed the music slowly coming back. <laughs> Halfway. Okay, so it's a short tower. It's the kind of musician I take it? Yeah, Marina and I are off the hook, the world's most powerful team. So Marina hit it big as an artist, did she? Pearl elimination, I assume? I don't like the sound of that. Let's pick up the pace. Good call. Increases the range of my main weapon. That means I will be worse with it. Because I am much better up close. I vastly prefer mobility over range. Double zone, huh? Okay, that's fine. Disc pieces for the drone. Put three of them together and you can give enemy a taste of so the step off song. Alright. Nothing can spawn from the portal while it's jammed. Okay, cool. I should probably just be painting the ground, huh? Well, the spread on these got massive whenever the range got longer. Let's keep moving and don't stop to where that's the top. Interesting. Ooh, I got options. All right. Because dodge roll with agility to deal damage. I don't really need that, but that seems okay. Let's take ink coverage. Considering our ink does damage to the enemies, you might as well, right? What do we have to do here? Look at those sunfish. I have to beat three to clear the floor. Okay, so I just gotta kill those guys. They drop bombs, okay. Or oh, they'll just walk into a corner like idiots. <laughs> sure, fine. Easy. We're almost there. We might have a successful first run. Oh, we have to do these in any order. Okay. Um. Whatever. Wonder what we have to do on this one. 
Whirling shell floor. All right. Being two enemies right after each other starts a lucky chain. The higher your lucky chain goes, the more likely it is. to see lucky items or lucky bombs. Okay. We just have to destroy the portals. Ah, big top. Ooh. Okay, I didn't expect them to also knock it. Alrighty. Living and learning. Oh, they're their own top guy. I see. Well, I learned about a new enemy. Okay, next one should be the last one before the end, right? So they're broken down by color, alright. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that was fun. Dodge roll attack. Lore nine. Infinity Ball. Not those things again. Right, so you have to get the Infinity Balls over to the goal. Good news, though, the Infinity Balls won't ever fall off the stage, so knock them around as much as you need. Okay. That's the first time we saw them, so I don't know why he said again. They're really just huh? I see. You just get on there, please. Thank you. Oh. Easy peasy. Look at me, I'm so good. <laughs> I feel like it's just setting me up for failure in the future. <clears throat> I want to know what sound that one makes. Well, that was fun. Control room. Our hair's red now. Is it like the average color of our chips? Colors our hair. What is that? No way. Is it? Oh, it's Marina. She got VR'd. I don't know. Guess not. She'll tangle up in that weird machine. 
It's a virtual boy. Damn it. <laughs> or at least the virtual boy controller's stuck to the side of it. Not this time, little guy. What do we have to do now? Girl does some amount of damage, okay. Got him. It's super cute how Nintendo references so much of their like older stuff in Splatoon. That like that headset was absolutely a Virtual Boy headset with the Virtual Boy controller stuck to it. Whoa! Error. Grayscaling interrupted. An intruders. Confirmed disorderly. <laughs> Who is this fool? I am order itself. A consciousness generated from the present. Oh. I'm fully realized. I therefore have no further. All things will be converted to memory. Man, it, it just keeps talking so fast. Power shaking like crazy. And we just got ejected. Alright. But well, we saved Marina. Uh, it was absolutely the tutorial. Nintendo presents. Platoon 3. Yes. Side order. Alright, I'm feeling good about this. This should be fun. So we're fighting a thing that wants to grayscale things. Hey, Pearl's not a robot anymore. Please be okay. Goodness, Pearl 8's woken up. Thank you so much for freeing me. Surprised to see me in the flesh. We're gonna work some magic and bam, I'm back, baby. Look at her very sparkly dress. I'm really sorry, it was a dramatic day as an Orderland module. It got stuck you in drone form and all did all this other stuff too. So what dramatic days in? Look at their Windows 11. Let me pack up a bit. This is the Memverse, a prototype VR that is a virtual reality that I made. Yeah, Marina. Your virtual reality. Hold up, you've been saying that we've been at a fake place this whole time? That's right. The only real things in the memverse are our minds. At least I'm safe inside my mind. The fuzzy cloud we met was order. It took control of me and caused the whole memverse to go haywire. It forcibly connected who knows how many people to the memverse. Their minds are all in here now. 
Also, I like their military-grade laptop with the dumb bumpers on the corners. I'm just how I got pulled into all this I take. Oh, I'm so sorry, I never intended for you to get roped into my mess. It's fine, we have other problems, like what to do about the situation we're in. You're absolutely right. I need to do something about order. Order's ultimate goal is a colorless world of order. A place where nobody has a will of their own, and they just do whatever they're told day in and day out. Order is using the members to make the dream of that changeless world a reality. Yes. What's the beef with change? Actually, hold up, I thought the members isn't real. Even if it gets what it wants in the members, who cares? The real world stays the real world, right? Yeah, about that. Order's using what it calls grayscaling to neutralize the will of everyone that's trapped here. So if someone goes through grayscaling here in the members, it has an effect on the real person. That about sums it up. Yeah, anyone who goes through grayscaling will slowly start to lose their will in actual reality, too. And Order's just getting started. It plans to keep pulling people into the members. If they don't stop, it'll... All the people all over the world will lose their wills. Life, as we know, it will be over. That sounds bad. Not on our watch order. I'm really sorry. This is all my fault. Nah, I know you had good reasons for making the members. If the creep order hijacked your work, it's gonna be sorry it ever tried. What's your space jacket? I'm gonna kick that loser out altogether. Oh, Pearl, you say the coolest things. Hup. Nice. Don't worry, I got your back. Let's get the show on the road. Hey, do you have a sec? And we're running some scans. Somehow order jacked up the threat level in the spire as high as it'll go. Okay, so it's gonna be more frantic now. What's it gonna do then? What does it mean for us? Well, for one thing, spire's suddenly taller, but that's not the worst part. It's run, run out of lives even once, and you'll get kicked out of the spire. And that'll probably happen since enemies hurt more. See more challenges here. Okay, so it got much harder. I'm in. That said, I built the members to begin with. I don't have to take this sitting down. Now that I'm outside the spire, I can hack the system and overrate the changes and lower the difficulty. You can do that? I'm glad to have you back on our side. I need pearls to get any hacking done. We should have some pearls already, I think. I got 50 pearls. Those pearls were generated when you came out of the spire. Every time you leave, your color chips and membucks will automatically be converted to pearls. So you're probably going to bite it in the spire, but if we kick some butt first, we get more pearls. And giving pearls to Marina for hacks makes it easier for us next time. Even losing helps us win. I like this plan. Yes, roguelike. Roguelite. Hmm. How about we get drone ink mines? And a drone action slot. More thing. Here, I have a pallet for you. you. Got Marina's pallet. Try switching weapons with the change pallet. Those color chips go into it. I didn't know you had your own. Setting this pallet to your drone, I mean Pearl, let's we'll use a new weapon. Okay, so the pallets let us use new weapons. There's other pallets in the lockers. And I got locker keys. Okay. Can't change pallets while climbing, but let's buy some. We got Marina's dev diary. Shouldn't you keep this under lock and key? Well, I guess you kind of did. Oh well. Maybe it's for the best. It's a little embarrassing, but if you two want to read it, feel free. You sure? I'm gonna leave this with you, Eight. If you want to read it, you can do that from the menu. The final fest is over, and we lost. I feel so bad for Team Order. They all tried so hard. Oh, this is as a result of the last Splatoon 2 Splatfest, huh? 
Damn. But at the end of the Splatfest, Pearl said we're going to take over the world. A world tour. Can you believe it? I can't wait. I haven't felt like this since I was on the sidelines for that battle right before I came to Inkopolis Square. If off the hook's going on a world tour, my schedule's about to be super packed. I love, love these little octopus emojis. They're really cute. We've got venues to schedule. Roadies to hire. New songs to write. I don't know what I'd do without Pearl. Pearl Hozuki Appreciation Corner. I felt lost and directionless after deserting from Octarian Army. It was Pearl who showed me hope. Two of us formed off the hook, and ever since I felt like I've been waiting to wake up from a dream. Aw. Sorry. <laughs> Something's in my eye. Okay. I need a good cry there. All better now. Now I can't forget about the biggest item on my to-do list. It's not a world tour business, but every bit is important. Project Memverse, name not final. So am I currently calling my project to help Agent 8 and all the others in Kamaboko preyed upon? Gotta make it up to my make it gotta make it one of my top priorities. Okay. And we got a sticker. We got a band. And a third key. We got Agent 4's palette as a splatter shot. Hi Bonsai. You're here to help me. You can kind of see him on camera. One of the new Squid Beaks Platoon members that Captain Guttlefish introduced us to. Palettes are a representation of someone's soul. Okay. Well, let's try Marina's palette. Let's give it a shot. I'm not the best Brella player, but you know what? This might help me be a little better. Which Brella is it? Even the foyer is different now. There's a bunch more stuff in here. Oh, practice. Okay, it's just practice stuff, whatever. I need to see what Brella this is. Uh, somewhere between Splat and Tent? Interesting. Okay, it might just be Splat. It's probably Splat. The going might be tough ahead, but if we don't give up, I know we can make it. Yeah, thanks, Oct, for manning those buttons. Now oh, we have fewer lives now. Hmm. Let's take main damage. Okay, maybe I should also do the dually so we can get more keys. Wide open floor. It's our goal. Escort, escort, escort the turbine tower. Well, let's. I should find out what bomb I have, huh? Sprinkler. How good. Useful. Thank you. I do not like Sprinkler. But it'll get the job done, I guess. Take more damage. Bowl floor. 
Yes, it is. Brella's not really good for clearing these, huh? you to ink more turf with your main weapon while moving. Yeah, that's bad. Killer whale. Pyramid floor. Very not good for this. This is fine. Sure. I see why that one was harder. <laughs> Mostly because my weapon's not made for that. Ink recovery rate would be good. Yeah, let's go. Worst case scenario, I die and we have to do it again, right? Double zone, though, huh? Well, none of that's what I wanted to do. We're gonna lose that real bad. Did that really not capture that? Come on. 
Oh, we're gonna take forever on this floor, boys and girls. We can kill these clowns all day, but painting zones is so annoying for this weapon. Let me have it. Ugh. You fucking things are horrible. I guess we didn't actually capture this one over here, huh? Nope. I assume we didn't capture the other one either. Please just keep ticking. Thank goodness. That one took forever. I guess comparatively forever. I guess four minutes isn't really the end of the world, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, take the charge up. More killer whales. Sounds nice. Bowl floor. Sink the balls. Pearl, help me. It's all good, Frank. We made it through the tutorial, and now we're playing with Umbrella. Interviews on March 25th? That's so soon! Three weeks exactly, actually. I could spend the mem bucks in vending machines.
Okay, let's check the vending machine. I'm good with rain. I might like curling bomb over sprinkler, but let's take this. This is fine. Uh, let's get this drone splat bomb. Some more stuff for Pearl to do. Oh, that's right. I didn't swap it for a curling bomb like I initially wanted to. Give me my ink back, please. Thank you. Alrighty. Where is our next portal? Over there. Rain. I like our little victory music. Mm. Extra range on our Barella could be good. Stepping stones floor, huh? Escort the turbine tower. Where are we going to? I see. This one's easy. Some of these floors are very, very easy, and others are very annoying. <laughs> but I'll take main range. Main damage, good too. We do need our Brella to do something. Especially because our sub weapon isn't bringing anything to the table. That splashed a lot farther than I thought it would. Oh, I missed. All we gotta do is paint their roots, I suppose. Boss at floor 10, huh? I don't know what sounds this makes. Oh, 
Oh, what? Was there a big patch, or did you just start it? Oh, no. Well, I know what I'm not doing after this, unfortunately. <clears throat> you just started? Oh, okay. Well, I'm good. Enjoy! I... That game's a lot of fun. What the hell? I see. I see, we have to get it to run over mines. Okay. That's fine. And bam. Yep. Okay. No, I missed. Do I just have to keep hitting it off of the one in the middle? Is that really all I have going for me? Pearl, please. Oh, okay, wait, Pearl. You're fine. Ow, oh, torpedo fish. Okay. No! Mm. I got got by an enemy I didn't expect, and I died. Gotcha. I'm sorry that you had to deal with that patch. That sucks. I'm so mad that I did that. Hold up, I need to step away for a second. I will be right back. Oh no, he, he not pooping. Crafty Cat isn't feeling well and I was going to check on her. I'm more noble than that, Frank. <laughs> I will tell her that you said that. She also shooed me away, so... I guess she's okay enough. Okay, we got free 500 mem bucks. <coughs> Alright. Mmm. Well? Mmm. Well? You know what? Let's give it a shot. This basically makes it the undercover umbrella. Let's give it a chance. As bad as the undercover umbrella is, I do like it. Yeah, we're just a big undercover. That's awesome. Is it that much cheaper? Yeah. 
And we did it. Actually, this is pretty nice. People are saying the airline's expensive, but the tickets are $65 with two people. That's like nothing! That's incredible. We'll absolutely take an Ink Saver main if we're going to be doing this. Uphill push. Easy. <laughs> Easy peasy, that one. Ooh, ooh, wait. I was going to take the uh, ink reduction again, but piercing shots. Absolutely. This is going to be a monstrous umbrella. Do I have? I do have sprinkler again. Okay, this is cool. I'm actually really enjoying this. I feel like I'm not saying enough and I'm like being a boring boy, but I'm having a good time. Who has permission to resign this Friday? Stay two months longer than your contract. Yeah, seriously, you don't have to you don't owe them anything at that point. Jeez. Does the middle go up and down, or just down? That goes up and down, okay. Okay. Well, we got one. No, 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 oh. Ugh. Okay, we're going this way. I tried to be fun, but no. Not allowed. Oh wait, that's not even where it needs to go. It needs to go right there. Great. Entertaining to watch that, but well, thank you. I'm glad you're having a good time. It's actually been like months since I've played Pl Splatoon proper. Other than, like, Splatfests. So this is nice to actually just do. Um, let's see who's in the vending machine. A fizzy bomb. Yes. We got the fizz. I'm playing Helldivers 2. You try to play Sonic Adventure 2 again on a whim? That's not what you remember it being. Uh, controversial take. I think Sonic Adventure 1's better than Sonic Adventure 2. Sorry. Sorry, Sonic Adventure 2. 
You're a fine game, but one is better. see it and agree with it. I would recommend or honestly, give Sonic Adventure 1 a shot again. Like, it's on Steam. Um, there's a, like, a weird audio bug for some reason uh, in Twinkle Park, and I don't understand why it is, but uh, otherwise the game is really good and worth replaying, honestly. Ugh. You have it on Steam? Well, there you go. Give it another shot. Sonic Adventure 1's super good still. Oh yeah, I can just run into it with my umbrella to make it go faster, huh? There's a mod to patch it to the Dreamcast version? Well, there you go! I think the, um... Combining all the gameplay styles into one campaign was to the detriment of Sonic Adventure 2. Like, each mode is fine on its own, but whenever you want to go fast, it sucks to have a Knuckles or Rouge stage in there. <laughs> and also, I think the music in most of the Shadow stages suck. Except for, is it Speed Highway? The one that's like the, the, the bridge. The bridge level. I don't think it's Speed Highway because I think that was Sonic Adventure 1. Okay, we're oh, right there. Uh, boink. And the other one's right there, huh? <laughs> Baby Town Frolics this stage. You get in there. I can't booyah. Yeah, the camera's not great in Sonic Adventure 1 either, unfortunately, but that is the curse of 3D platformer. A bonus floor? It was like this, you get either a color chip saturation or a bonus challenge. Color chip saturation sets color chips to all empty slots in your palette. Only for that floor, though. The chips you get are randomly picked. All they have in common is their tone. Which one is the one? Oh, this one's the bonus stage. Um, let's give it a shot. We're gonna beat the boss this time because I'm not stupid and I'm not gonna get hit by a torpedo. Don't move in octo wing form. Interesting. I almost- I failed. Oh, we lose money, not... Okay. Even the, the sponge moving me counts as moving. That's bunk. distance. I'm going all in on my main weapon here for the most part. Bowl floor. 
Sink the balls. floor. Time to wreck this thing. The elusive bounder flounder? It's almost miserable. So much black ink where I want to be. Just let me over there. Thank you, Pearl. I have dizzy bombs. I need to be using these. Oh god. No, no. Please stop. Busy bombs bounce off of these guys. Good to know. This thing bounces away and it sucks. Not this time. Got him. Give me. Got another locker key.
Man, this weapon sucks for this. <coughs> We're doing our best. Totally stronger than any gelatin we've seen. Did you pick up a locker key? I think you can get a key each time you clear certain floors the first time with each pallet. Alright. Guess let's see what's in the vending machine, huh? I don't really want any of that. Not zones. That's miserable. Let's do this. I don't really care about the discs, but I really don't want to do a zones floor. damage no firing rate yes we need to go faster this thing is slow can I use my sub weapon yeah I can do that honestly since it's not like splat bomb or torpedo or like, I don't know, anything. I'm not too worried about it. I need ink. Storm, refill my ink, please. Thank you. And we're in. Hey, Zero Charisma, how you doing? Um, I don't know. Also, Crafty Cat may need to borrow me. I will be right back. Hold on. Okay, unfortunately, guys, I'm gonna have to stop here. Uh, I need to help Crafty Cat, because she is not feeling well. But thank you for coming to hang out with me and experiencing this cool Splatoon DLC. I'm definitely gonna be playing more of this in the future. Uh, I don't know if I'll be streaming it. Unless you guys want to see it, you can always let me know, and I will uh, toss it in the rotation. Again, thank you everybody for coming out for this comeback stream. I really do appreciate it. 
As always, I am Duct Tape, and this has been Splatoon 3 Side Order, and I will catch you next time. Which will be on Thursday, most likely, going back to Final Fantasy IX. Because I know you guys are excited for that. <laughs> but have a wonderful couple of days, everybody.